Here's how to turn on private browsing in Safari on your iPhone. Now open up the Safari web browser on your iPhone, but this also works on an iPad as well. Now to enable the private browsing, AKA where it doesn't capture any of your history or search results, it's all wiped out after you close out of the tab. All you need to do is tap on those three dots at the very bottom, right? Now you'll be able to see at the very bottom, right? It says all tabs with those two squares, just tap on that. Now from here, you'll be able to see it shows you the normal tabs that you have open, not in private browsing mode, but to switch to private browsing mode, you can see at the bottom left is private. So just tap on private and then tap on the plus and you can see I have private browsing mode turned on. If you don't see private browsing, the reason for that is an issue in your settings associated with screen time. So just open up the settings app on your iPhone and we're gonna go into some content restrictions within screen time. So scroll down from here, tap on screen time, scroll down, tap on content and privacy restrictions. Keep in mind, if there is a passcode associated with this that is set by a parent or you, you will have to know that password to turn this off. So if I tap on App Store, Media, Web and Games and Web Content, and if I set this to, for instance, only approved websites, and I go back to Safari here, you'll be able to see if I go to the normal tab, I can see the normal tab here. But if I close out of here and open it up again, you can see if I go over to private, it doesn't allow me to do anything from private beyond these specific websites. I can't go to other things. So from here, I need to go back into my settings and set this to unrestricted, or if it's at limited adult website, set it to unrestricted. And again, open up Safari, and then you'll be able to use whatever you want on private browsing.